the children live happily at the children home. They live together as one big family. Visitors and friends from various places give them great support. Indeed, each one of them had their own story before joining this family. Please listen, this is my story. It's not sweet nor beautiful. It's not to entertain you. Nor for fun I want to tell, because I need some help. Because I need some help. Because I need some help. Sharon. And her two siblings, before moving to the children's home, lived in a miserable, dangerous environment. Their mother suffered from mental problems, and the whole family relied on the father for their livelihood. Later, the father became sick and was not able to work. They struggled in their plight. The overseers of the children's home visited them. And saw that the kids did not have enough clothes, even in extremely cold weather. The house was not in good condition. The eldest brother among the three, who was only ten years old, was in charge of preparing meals. Sharon, who was around eight years old, had to do many house chores. The youngest one had not even reached one year old yet. They all lacked proper care. Indeed, the children' home did not have extra resources. Still, we received them to the children' home. In such a short time only, their appearance has changed substantially. They live happily in the children' home. Sharon even got the first place at school. We were greatly comforted to see their smiles. Sajan and Sujan followed their parents to work at a carpet factory. The environment was very bad. Afterwards, their mother went away with someone, and left them behind with their father, who frequently became drunk. At the end, their father also went away. They were only six and eight years old back then, leaving Sajan. And Sujan alone, without care or food. Later, a sister from the church told us about their situation. Together with the government's children welfare department, we went to see them. We had pity on them, and so we brought them to the government shelter and settled them there. However, resources were very limited there, and nothing was provided except food. Their parents had not shown up even after one year. And their period of stay at the government shelter was about to expire. We did not want to see them become homeless, and so brought them to the children' home. Although they are young, they are very sensible and considerate, and they have learned a lot at the children' home. It's a great pleasure to know God, the Father of the Father. His ear promises love and care. Promises love and care. Promises love and care. He promises love.